All right, I did some digging, which is not technically wrong, even if it doesn't mean the load runner sense. And with some archaeological help, well, I'll show you. Five dig here, but difficult since we can't see well yet. Must go fast and accurately to do the five, four, three, two, one dig. Basically, our goal is a hidden room above ground level. We have to dig in such a way that we can dig down more blocks than we normally could dig, which is five. And to do this, we take advantage of some extra space to get a few more blocks further down than normal. I was here last time, but I couldn't break this block here. Now I can. Turns out there is a hidden room here. With a beach ball. At first I was confused, but there isn't a random hole here. We are actually above that piece of gold. Anyway, I am going to wait for the monks to do a circuit above since they climb the ladder and fall off the corner. So I can free the ladder up. I cannot use the beach ball on them, so I have to work past them some other way. Okay, last time that didn't end well. I'll just grab that later. But don't be deceived. We need to dig out three blocks, but we need a four dig. Think of this as a four dig where the last block is already dug out. I'm not even going to focus on the gold now. Donuts are more important. Okay, given I just rainbow murdered three blind monks, that sound effect is infinitely more creepier. Dead monks stay dead for a little bit and spawn at the bottom so we can keep them somewhat controlled. I need some more leeway to get the gold requiring the ladder dig, so I'll just grab this corner piece for now. Okay, thankfully this is just a corner, so we can easily fall off of it in any direction. I think my next goal is gonna be that extra life, but I'm gonna need some more leeway on the ladder. If I dig these monks' traps here, and then I dig some more blocks here, I'm gonna waste enough of their time. Hopefully, it will give me enough time to do a ladder dig. A quick reminder, a ladder dig is where I dig. So we scroll down the ladder, dig, and that allows me to dig any number of vertical blocks. I really want that extra life, so I'm going to dig a little bit more than I think I need, just in case it's not possible. And, um, Really quick thinking kept that black monk at bay, and I just realized I didn't need to do all that. Um, I was kind of expecting the extra life to require a little bit more space because of the undiggable it was on. But it turns out if I had just gone normally in a way that allowed me to pick up the gold, I would have had enough space as you can easily see here to grab the extra life and the gold. The thing is, that's one of the mistakes you make in the heat of the moment. It's obvious in hindsight, but at the moment that you're there and you're being chased by monks who want to eat you, then what else can you do? You freak out, you dig more than you think you need, you dig more holes than you think you need, and anyway, enough of all that. We need to do a three dig here. That will get us into the um, gold, but it also frees up some space so that we can dig one out to get to that other alcove. Recall from earlier, that was the alcove that we uh, got the beach ball from. I didn't collect all the uh, gold there because I was focused on the donut. And for getting the donut, you really need maximum timing. These monks are gonna try to flank me from two directions, which is actually preferable. It would have been more difficult to have to, to deal with two of them really close together coming down the ladder. Choices, choices, choices. Okay, the northeast and southwest are unavailable. And with the floating gold in the northwest, I assume we have some levers or plates to hit. I'm gonna save the gold in the um, southeast for later because I'm probably gonna go down that way anyway when I have to go to the top and dig my way out. Um, I was right, that plate brings us some platforms to grab the gold and 
Of course, I cannot possibly say no to bigger explosions. Um, I'm gonna take the lower monkey bar. The top one heads to an area I can access anyway with a ladder. This one heads to an area I can't normally access, so the monkey bars are really the only way. Hey, look! These are filled in now. We can access these two sides. Well, this monk isn't too difficult. He's just going back and forth. Still, there's a lot more employees in these worlds than there were in the early industry worlds. Um, and I'm going to assume the end portal is down, so I'm going to go up where the bombs are because bombs are fun and now I have a gas can to make them explode bigger. Okay, I want to explode the smaller one, the single block, not the double block, just in case there's some hidden undiggables I don't see because I have to deal with this purple one here. And there's a plate there, I'm not sure what it did, but I definitely had no choice but to hit it anyway. And that monk climbs in the wrong direction and gets phased in. Good job, kiddo. Anyway, I am doing a three dig here to access this gold. I think that plate did the same thing that the first plate we hit did. It's just it depends on which one you decide to go for first. I was right, the end portal is down there. That monk is taking a small stroll onto the pipe where it's not safe from my digging. And now we have choices. I can either use the bombs I have to blow through those monks and blow through the block at the end to get to the portal, or or I can go here. A simple double dig will open up this area and we get an extra life and an inviso. And I think it's gonna be easier for me to deal with the inviso than it is gonna deal with perfectly timed bomb placements. Those undiggables underneath the center area where the monks are preclude the possibility of me just digging them out. All right, here goes nothing. Get to the end, grab the gold, go to the side, explode the bomb, and then get out. Well, that was rather straightforward. At least there was no bloody donut. What are those plates on the left side? Eh, probably not important. Let's just get the gold. Oh, I was gonna dig that out, but thank you anyway. The monk's helping me out. Oh, that's so cute. A but you bitch. Mm. Alright, so I have to stay ahead of the monk. Well, I could just suicide here, or I can find a more creative way of restarting this. Okay, time to stay ahead of the monk. Grab this. Grab this. See if I can dig this before. Well, it didn't matter. Oh, I thought I was on top of the gold there. Whoops. Alright, uh, don't accidentally waste any time knocking into things. Don't take corners unriskily. And, um, yeah. Oh, I probably could have just gone off the corner there to save some time. Oh, oh, forget about the undiggable. We can just do a do two dig on the side. The extra life is super easy to grab. Okay. We are, oh, don't ram into the edge. We're far ahead. We don't want to lose now. And I'm not even going to wait to see what the rest of those plates are going to do. Well, there is quite a lot going on here. Um, I've got bombs, but they probably won't be useful if I try to lay them on the monkey bar. So I'm just going to go past that. Oh, uh, what's this plate do? Uh, okay, now I'm getting flanked on two sides. This is starting to look more like an arcade level again. Ah, they're gonna have to climb down all the ladders to get to me. <laughs> or you can just fall off the corner. <sighs> now I have to deal with this other monk coming from here. Uh, this isn't, this isn't, uh, this isn't stressful. This is just uh, slightly difficult. Let's go down here and uh, hopefully the monk will get, yes, the death monk just got confused. So now he's going up, so I have only another death monk to deal with. Uh, what's this do? Okay. Now what's this do? Okay. Uh, I'll get the gold later when the death monk isn't there anymore. Oh, shoot. There's a purple monk coming. There's a death... Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, uh, never mind. Uh, I'm going back this way again, guys. Sorry. Sorry to bother you all. Ow. Alright, you are not following me. Okay, that plate 
opened up some blocks so that the ladder is more accessible. So now we can climb it up here. Uh, stop you from, oh shoot. Oh, okay, good. That purple monk, I thought he was gonna take a completely different path. Oh, this is for the end of the level. We need to use a bomb to get through there, kill that monk, and then go to the portal. But for now, that's not useful to us. Okay, the, okay. Get rid of this purple monk. There's a purple monk coming from below. There are two death monks on me at the moment. There are several things about this which are not good. I have had so many close calls already. Hopefully my luck won't run out anytime soon. And uh, there I went and jinxed it again. How am I gonna get past all these guys? What's this do? Oh, that's how I get past all those guys. Well, that answers that question. Okay, these are the last gold. We just collect these and I just wanna quickly get that extra life before I leave. I'm starting to feel like maybe this was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. I forgot my escape plan. In my lust to get the extra life, I trapped myself here. And now I only realize too late that the journey is my real treasure. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, at least the death monk is stuck here with me. I don't have the directional bombs I need to escape. If you look carefully, you can see that there's a ladder, actually. Let me bomb this out and you can see more clearly. There's a ladder there, stuck in this block I can't dig out. So. Forget it. Try again. Okay, trying again. This time I'm taking advantage of the fact that the light switch gives me the entire open area to run in. How does this help me? This actually doesn't. Well, that's uh, the second embarrassingly failed plan I had to get this extra life. Let's just try one more time. All right, this time let's go straight down. We're gonna trap the, the death monk. And then we're just gonna jump, bypass all that other problem. Oh, right. Okay. The saying, dig two graves if you want revenge? Well, those bombs just got me my revenge, and the death monk electrocuted me into a skeleton so I'd fit in the casket. So, win win. Okay, I'm actually getting frustrated. I had the level in my grasp and I lost it because of my need for an extra life. And I forgot to hit the pressure plate now. Ah, uh, thankfully the monk was kind enough to do that. All right, let's try to get back to where we were. All right, uh, the only difference here is I haven't grabbed the gold on the right side. And I have a plan, a good plan this time. Drop a bomb and then dig out the ladder. This means I will have dug out the ladder and gone down quick enough to have enough time to climb back up. But as you'll see, this ladder phases in almost immediately. And the bomb gives me a little bit of extra time with the other block phased out to get the extra life. So the two work together. Now from here, I just have to finish the right side. We remember this part of it, right? I already did this, but now I have to do it again because I'm an idiot. So last that open, stop the death monk, Really stop the death monk. Really, really stop the death monk. Close that, hit the plate, create the bridge, and this time these are the last pieces of gold. And, oh, wait, hey, hey, go back there and get the gold. Oh, I wonder what the bottom is for. There's a ladder at the bottom that leads to some little dock, and I don't, not sure what that's for. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay, good. He, he appeared down there. I thought he appeared at the bridge. Right, all I have to do is time the bomb just right so it blows up the purple monk. Wait, rewind that. I think I missed something. What are those? <laughs> I didn't even see that before. <laughs> that's, uh, that's cute. That's really, really cute for heartbringers of, of death and cannibalism. That's really cute. Anyway, enough monk love silliness. I forgot something. This pressure plate up here. I never pressed it. Well, we can see what it does now. It creates monkey bars down there. 
That, that, this is to the place that I was wondering about earlier, with the ladder that led to this dock that didn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, uh, it's, uh, there's no way off of this monkey bar except in that direction. Yeah, that's a total trap. Um, turns out that plate was totally useless anyway. Okay, check our boards, but it shouldn't be too difficult to deal with a single monk. If he comes down the ladder, we'll have a little bit more leeway as long as we hit him all the way up here. Okay, so um, the ladder on the right seems to imply that the right side is um, we have to get to last, and those undiggables prevent us from going there first anyway, so we'll go down this way first. All right, if we want to go down, we're going to have to use a bomb because of that hole and that's conveniently also holding another bomb. So if we lay a bomb just here and we dig here, that's enough to bring us down because of the gasoline can's extended range. Oh, look, an employee is coming down to greet us. Okay, we have to be careful here. Uh, we have to go up and dig really quickly on this side to get the purple monk. And we don't have much time to decide that because of the death monk coming up from below. Alright, so now we've made it to this side. Okay, we have a decision to make here. I can use my vertical bomb powered by the gasoline can to blow a hole back up that ladder behind me, or I can blow up a, a hole to get to the extra life. I'm going to choose this way because I'm not exactly sure uh, if I really want to deal with going back up that ladder and dealing with that purple monk on that terms again, and it turns out I still had to do a very fast dig, so maybe I should just grab the extra life anyway. Wait. Oh, no, 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 this is badly timed. I can't... I'm not going to have enough time. I can't dig out either. There's not enough... Just run for it. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I was so close, and I was destroyed. I think I hate that monk. Well, we know how to get to the bottom left, so let's just uh, hurry this part up. Alright, this time, I don't want this death monk to die, because if he is dead, then he's going to appear up there. So hopefully, if last time he died, he died when he was up here, going into that hole I dug. By digging that hole earlier, I hopefully he won't be killed by that earlier hole. He wasn't. And the other hole will be filled in, so he won't accidentally die to that one trying to climb the ladder to get me. That's good. And this time, I'm going for the extra life, because... I just realized that I can actually get it without a problem. And I think my decision is made for me because that, that death monk is uh, pretty much guarding that area completely and is not letting up, so... Yeah, we're going for the extra life. Actually, come to think of it, it isn't too hard to deal with it. Uh, we can't use a bomb anymore to get up, but a three dig down here will get us right to the base of the ladder and then we'll have... We'll have a little bit of problems coming back up. I hate having to do that uh, fastest gun of the west thing with the purple monk, but it shouldn't. Hopefully I can pull it off again. Or maybe I won't have to. Looks like that purple monk got a call from his manager and was told to actively, proactively pursue me. Like the death monk. Maybe the death monk is his manager. I just thought of that. Do they have an employee? Actually, no, that's totally irrelevant. Who cares anyway? Let's get out of here. Okay, this time I only have to deal with a single purple monk. And that is so much easier than dealing with a purple monk and a death monk. We land on an invisible power-up. Well, that's finally some good news. Okay, let's just get out of here. Oh, that was close call. And we're gonna have another close call. I'm just gonna leave and... Oh, this is an edge. I can't get out. I... That monk really must hate industrial espionage if he's going to trap himself just to get me. Alright, let's try this again. The monk can get trapped, so let's try to take advantage of that. Assuming I can... Ooh. Assuming I can deal with this very, very close quarters long enough... There we go. The left monk just fell into the hole. 
what I was doing here was just trying to survive long enough so that um, the other monk would feel compelled to jump in there since it apparently felt compelled to jump in there last time. Except this time I wasn't actually in that little hole. So now there's only three monks to deal with. And it looks like monks that die end up in that bottom area where the gold is. That's a bit inconvenient if it wasn't for the fact that we have an inviso in a beach ball. If we leave that part for last and just get like this simple gold up here, then we should not have a problem. We'll simply get the rest of the gold and then come back later with the inviso and beach ball to murder all the monks, get the gold, and then leave. It's not a far distance from that gold to up here. When we're finally ready to get that gold, we dig out the area underneath the ladder because there's another ladder underneath that you can see through the translucent blue thing, but for now, we can just grab this easy gold over here. I want the beach ball more, I think. Or maybe I want the Inviso. Nah, I want the beach ball, actually. The reason being is because once I kill them, they'll be gone for a few moments, and when they respawn, hopefully the block I dig out will be gone by then. And since I'm not going to deal with those monks until the end, I might as well just kill this one so it doesn't bother me. The only uh, other piece of gold we have that's not as obvious as this one, but a two dig is, is enough to get here. It isn't too difficult. And now we just have to dig out that bottom, but first I want to set some things up. I want the power-ups to be all on this side, so if I screw up, I can grab the power-ups pretty quickly. So I'm just going to move and, t and taxi over that inviso over there. In the meantime, pretty much, the, I think the biggest part of this level was probably the beginning. If you play your cards right in the beginning, then the rest of the level is pretty easy. Alright. Swap the inviso with the beach ball, and then... Go down, dig out the block, and blow up the monks. Here goes, uh, nothing, I suppose. I really don't want to screw this up. And 20 seconds of cut time worrying about messing this up later. I wish I had plenty of time. Yeah, this is easy. They're all going to be way behind me. And they're all stuck anyway. Oh, that monk landed on one's head, and, well, I invisoed out of there, so it did not matter. Alright, are there any employees here? Yes, there are. Oh, I didn't even fall out, I just landed right here. There's gold above me. I have to dig out and fall in order to get to... Wait a minute. This level... It, it looks like a, a level that was supposed to be two-dimensional that's been projected into 3D. Yeah, Load Runner 2 doesn't normally have floating gold that you you fall through, but the Load Runner, the original Load Runner, especially Load Runner Legend Returns, I saw that used all the time, especially with monkey bars. Is this a Load Runner Legend Returns level? Or is this a classic Load Runner level that's been translated into 3D? I don't know. Okay, we gotta wait for that monk to start his descent, and then that should give us enough time to dig. We'll have to go back up again. So there's three monks from what it looks like. There's one on this side, it looks like there's two on the other side. I would expect given, ooh, that was a neat trick. Clever. I would expect given the way the AI works, that when I climb the ladders, if they're far enough away, then they'll climb, yeah, that monk at the bottom left is now climbing, yeah, see those two monks are climbing the left ladder while this one's following me up the middle. I will probably have to exploit that behavior in order to clean out monks from a side that I'm going to go down. And I'm going to have to go down the sides multiple times because I'm always going to be missing the one gold that I couldn't dig to get to and there's no other way to get up beyond going back up the middle. So this has like a sort of classic feel to it, um, which is climb up, get a bunch of gold, you're back down, deal with the monks, and I really hope their respawn is, is good because otherwise no way back up with the other side. Although I could jump off the ladder to like probably get be behind them, but I already took this plan. The classic murder them with money holes plan. So like I said, go up, get gold, 
come down while getting the gold, try to fight your way back up again and get more gold. We're going to need at least two more trips, on the one on the left, one on the right, and I'm going to take the left side because there's two monks on the right. Dealing with one monk is easier than dealing with two monks. Ooh, same situation as before. Um, I don't want this to phase in on me when I am in the middle of falling. I don't want my timing with the monk to coincide with the timing of the phase out. So now that I know when this is going and I have to back up this time. So it's a little more tricky with the timing. We have the same situation. That monk's probably going to... Oh yeah, that monk... That monk's pretty smart actually. All right, now I gotta go... All right, good. I got up fast enough where they thought that they could get to me by using the other ladders. So, this is the AI exploitation again. Let them climb up. Kind of keep them in the middle so they don't chase me up the middle. Wait for that to phase back in. Grab the remaining piece of gold, and then I only have one piece of gold on the right side. Okay, I have to go down. I have to get the monks on the right side to get close enough to me so they feel compelled to follow me up the middle ladder. Okay. Okay, for some reason he chose the left one, but that's better than the right one, I suppose. Now there are absolutely no monks on the right, so I can get this completely unimpeded. Completely unimpeded. Completely impeded. No, unim no I, got the I got the negatives right there. I thought I did a double negative for a second. All right, uh, I don't want to fall here. That would be embarrassing. And we're out of here. Are they gonna try to follow me through? Well, this looks like, like some kind of straight run through. Huh. Let's see if we can get this monk. Should be easy. Got him. I'm not sure why he was just standing. Oh shoot, look at the top. He just blocked our way to the portal. We're gonna need to use a bomb. When the monks die, they go up there. The more monks we end up killing, the more we have to deal with towards the end of this level. Which means we have to try to not kill a monk. I can avoid using a bomb if I go down here. I just have to really hope that that blind monk doesn't kill himself. And... Well... There goes that plan, I suppose. I'm gonna have to use a bomb to get through here, and I probably need to kill that monk, otherwise I'm gonna die. There's not enough space. Well, I've already failed in three places. Let's at least try not to kill this one. Um... I wonder if he'll stay alive or if he'll blow himself up again. Yep, he just falls back. I should have dug two holes. That would have given him some time. Hurry! Okay, this is a bit complicated. All right, we need to dig out with some horizontal bombs. But we're going to let out the other monks, and we might kill some. We probably have to kill that monk that's at the end there blocking the ladder. But hopefully I don't have to kill the other three in here. My plan is to just blow my way using the gas can straight to that... Um, block over there. I don't think, I think, well, I need two bombs or one. Or maybe I can blow through. I don't want to waste another bomb here, so let's just dig out here. Um, well, this is an interesting question. Do I want the extra gas can? I have a stronger bomb, but then again, I could potentially accidentally kill more monks. I mean, I'll take it. If I don't need it, I can drop it. But if you drop a, a gas can that's been double charged or triple charged, it goes back to being single charged again. So if for any reason I don't need this charge, I'm going to lose it permanently. But eh, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's hope I'm right. Okay, that takes him out, and we haven't unleashed any of the other monks. Now, I'm not sure if that was intended, but you can actually drop a bomb by walking into a, a block, like smacking into it and pressing the control key, and then you dro and then you drop the bomb right where you're standing, um, you, because you're you're technically moving. I'm 
I'm gonna have to bring those monks back into death if I hit the. No, wait. That switch is down, so if I put it up, it phases in blocks. That will probably kill them. But down here is a block that's equal to the ones they're on right now, but it's up already. So that should drop them in there, in which case I can then use this to make the bridge, and I have saved the monks' lives. I didn't actually expect myself to be saving monks' lives. I guess this is penance for all the times I killed them everywhere else. This is practically constructed to make sure I treat all the employees correctly. Come in here. Please don't fall back in your own hole again. Wait, I have an idea. There we go. That will, that should waste its time a little bit. So when it comes out, it should not die because it will, oh, please, please, please. All right, good, we didn't kill it. So, um, how am I supposed to get past her without killing them all? There's no other way to do this. Um, I guess flip this up and just, Oh, it only does it where the gold is. I, if I had known that, I would have bugger. Damn it. All right. Let's do a double dig down here. And then we can... Whoa, whoa, I almost jumped down and killed myself. Yeah, that entire area is undiggable. We won't be able to do that. How are you supposed to get down, though? Oh, wait a minute. There's a corner, I believe. I mean, that's blocking me from using that corner, but there's nothing blocking me from using this corner. Hey, this is a level where you don't want to kill monks. I don't know what that pressure plate does. I don't want to know what that pressure plate does. I don't want to know what's going to explode when I hit that trip wire. I want things done on my timetable. I think if I play my cards right, I should be able to blast the hole underneath the trip wire. Drop a bomb to manually detonate that one. The gas can should give me enough power um, four blocks worth, because it's a double can, in order to, for me to get to the bottom, and it should be just enough for me to get onto that platform with the gold without actually triggering that plate. So I won't even have to worry about what these plates do. I don't want to know what these plates do. Not in a level like this. Alright, time for me to execute my plan. Okay, there was one other hidden there. Yeah, it looks like if I u didn't use my own bombs, I would be forced to um, use the bombs that were provided to me, which would lead me to that plate, and I don't know what it would have done. All right, I should only need one bomb here. With the gas can, a single bomb in the right direction should take out all three monks that are blocking my path. No telling how long they're gonna be out, so let's get out of here quickly. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Alright, we are in the last level, so I'm gonna drop down and just talk very, very softly. Because I'm happy and I don't want to ruin that happiness. Alright. So we have three monks, and finally we get to use the landmines. And it looks like we're gonna really need them. I cannot do that. There's an empty space underneath. I suppose I need a little bit more time, so I'm gonna drop a bomb here. Take these guys out so I can have some more time to think. It's been a while since we've had to do a dig that involved bombs, and it looks like we're gonna have to do that again. I need a little bit more space than I currently have, and the bomb is the easiest way to get it. Now I can fall down, get the gold, and I have a lot of space to work with. Two should give me enough. And then, okay, good. I'm glad there's an area back here because otherwise I'd be kind of screwed. Oh, don't fall in that direction. There's another piece of gold that I can get right here. And once again, 
the monks are coming at me. And thankfully this will be the last time I have to deal with the industrial world's employees. And they come back really quickly, so using those mines to my, along with digs is very important to get out of there as quickly as possible. I think I can get the gold and the extra life in one go. The biggest thing though is to get the bombs ready. There we go. The undiggables block that explosion just enough so that I can get what I need without losing parts that I don't want gone. I will replenish my bomb supply here. Mine supply here, I should say. And assuming I don't make some terrible mistake, I should be able to get to the portal without dying horribly. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, finally! Industrial world is cleared. Was it my imagination, or did that wormhole look a bit different than the one I'm used to? I don't know. Anyway, we've already done industrial world, we've done uh, jungle world. But we haven't... Oh, gosh. Oh, well, I suppose I should hit this eventually. This is called Wacky World, also known as Really Creepy World. Oh, gosh, those things are terrifying. Well, at least the color is more cheerful than that dreary old industrial area. 